Mr. Butch, just the last few moments, we'll be saying hello to Brandon Grace, who's uh, dulcet tones and sight and face we see on our Skype screen at the moment. We're just letting Maz know so that she can put him up. How's it going, Brandon? Very good, thanks, and yourself? All right, thanks. Whereabouts are you exactly now? Is your hotel room? Yes, we're in the hotel room. Um, did, a couple of, did a bit of practice this morning, a prime this morning, so just turning it out and ready for the week to start. All right, and uh, what a season for you as well. Uh, unbelievable season that you've had. Uh, did you, had you, any idea that you'd rack up so many wins and just and it would just take off for you this year? No, not really. Eh? Um, you know, I thought the first win is around the corner, but um, you know, I really didn't expect this to you know just to shoot off like it has so far this year. But um, it's just been awesome. You know, just riding with emotions and just going with it, and you know, it's just been all very positive. What, what's the one key thing you think is you can put it down to is uh, your success this year? Is there anything you can pinpoint? Um, you know, I think you know I've been hitting the ball pretty well the whole the whole of last season and the season so far. I think the putting is one thing that's really just st- stood out a little bit more than usual. And you know, I've just been making more putts, and I think that's the one thing that's just been putting it through all the time. That's a key thing that's come out today, eh? the putting aspect. Putting. We spoke to Cheryl Calder earlier on, as you probably do know, is working a lot with Ernie at the moment. She's out at the Byron Nelson with him right now, and she's yeah. saying it's 60% of the game, and if they can get that one sorted out, Ernie's going to be back in the winner's circle. Uh, you guys might be coming up against each other next week, right? Yes, um, yeah, going down to Wentworth next Went, week, and yeah. then you know, I'm sure we'll see each other again in, um, in the Memorial in the States the week after. So it's a big couple of weeks coming up, so it's all really... Really nice and looking forward to them. Have, have you managed to quantify or can you quantify exactly how much this has been worth to you, just your, your rocket to success this year? Um, not really. Eh? I've, it's just been all, it's really all been a roller coaster ride. It's been, it's been great. It's been, it's been something a little bit unexpected, but, you know, just running with it this time and, you know, just trying to, to get more wins under the belt and, and take it from there. Awesome stuff. Well, uh, it's, uh, it's it's an amazing performance there. And uh, how much has it meant from, I mean, how many sponsors have you sort of racked up this year since uh, since all those wins? No, um, not not really anything, to be honest. So, you know, I've joined Fancourt. Um, okay. You know, they've, they've um, been really good. I've just got a, a nice contract with it going up and moving into my new house down there soon. So, you know, that's been, that's been really positive, really something really close to my heart and things like that. But um, not really anything else, you know, just take it as, as going so far and, you know, keep getting more wins and, you know, then those things will take care of itself. No, yeah, Simon? No. Oh, okay. I thought you had something uh, you wanted to ask him. All right. So, uh, what's the rest of your the next few months look like for you? I mean, is it a pretty hectic schedule? Do you get a chance to take a bit of a break and uh, and and just chill out, or uh, does it change your schedule in any way now that you know that you've you know you've won these tournaments and and you're sitting pretty as as far as uh, your year goes so far? Can you sort of uh, adjust your schedule accordingly? Um. Yes. Definitely. I mean, that's it's pretty. You know, it's easy for once. Um, now I can really just go ahead and you know play pretty much where I want to play and, and things like that. But um, you know, just I've just been home for three weeks, so that's that's been nice. And the next couple of months is really going to be hectic. Um, you know, I've got the Volvo, uh, not the, Vol- the Volvo this week, and then went with next week, and then going to head over to the States for. I got an invite to play in the Memorial, and then um, I have to drop five more spots in the world ranking to qualify for the US Open. So that's that's a pretty big goal for me for the next couple of weeks to get into that, and then. Um, you know, take it from there, and then after after the States trips, then I get back to back to England. Um, going to Ireland, the French Open, Scottish Open, and then hopefully, and then I'm I'm into the Open. So far, I'm at Royal Livingston, and so, so the next couple of months are going to be hectic. But it's all all events I haven't really played in, so it's all something new and looking forward to those. You must have had a completely different plan for the year uh, at the beginning of the year, as far as those events that you mentioned, and having to get into them. Uh, it must be what seventy five percent of them that you thought oh, I've got to go and qualify. I might never play them, and you're kind of playing all of them now. Yeah, it's pretty much almost you can say ninety percent to be honest. Oh, really? Uh, okay. No, I tell you, you know, since since I've won, everything has changed. Um, you know, the schedule is is something that's that's changed tremendously. You know, you get to play a lot of events that I that I wasn't going to play at the beginning of the year. So, you know, if you look back at to some of the guys that went with me to tour, to, to to Q school at the beginning of the year and got their cards, you know, they've they've pretty much not played more than five events on on the main tour this mm-hmm. year. So, it's really tough. It's tough for them, but you know, we've all been through it and things like that. And you know, I think I'm 
good case and showing that, you know, if it's your week, it's your week, and one week's going to change a lot. Yeah, with consistency, I think, is one thing you've shown this year. Now that Are you sitting here at the moment... Um, obviously saying your game is, is like is there anything in your game that you think gee, at the beginning of year it was different to what it is now or are you pretty happy that you're maintaining that consistency with your game where you can go into any tournament any week and go and win it yeah um, you know it's, it, everything feels exactly the same um, I think just mentally you know I'm getting stronger and stronger as weeks go on you know I think the more wins you get you know the the positive the more positive you get out there and things like that and you know chances you take just get more easier and much easier so um, the game is still there I'm still hitting the ball great you know I'm, I just keep giving myself chances and you know keep making a couple more passes than what I used to and I think that's just been the, the, the key please give us the secret <laughs> <laughs> please I wish I could um, it's one of those things you know I told, um, told a couple of guys last week there at um, Samoa it's just you know, it's hard to get the first win, but when you get the first one, then it's, it's just rolling with it. You know, then yeah. it's, as soon as you get the formula, then it's then it's a lot easier. Yeah, it's like a trigger. It's that watershed moment where you can just uh, the, the the world is your oyster, and it's so lucky you have. Uh, it's just so lucky to see South African golf at the moment, and all these guys that are just performing and and uh, and contending and making the world sit up and take notice. And you know, they've always said it. We've got the best conditions. I mean, some of the greatest golf courses, I think, and it just sets it up so nicely to create great golfers, and I think Brandon's uh, another one of those. So all the best to you. Uh, I think you deserve it, and may it, long may it continue, and uh, who knows, soon another another name in the winner's circle there as far as majors goes. Definitely, definitely. You know, it's one of the main goals um, for the rest of the season to just compete in those events, but... Um, you know, just looking forward to everything to come. So week by week should be good for now. And we're working on John Waller to stop calling you Brandon Stone. <laughs> I <didn't know. laughs> but no, I'll never do that. I know that uh, yesterday. I know, I know, but I know, it's Brandon, you're a you great guy, and Di- 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 Diana Fincham really he preys on you as well, and a great. Yes, person. what is your question? A uh, Gary Player as well. It must have been very special for you when he heaped a lot of praise on you with uh, with your fluid swing, uh, Brandon. Yes, I'm sure. You know, you know, I've met Gary a couple of times. You know, he's always been very supportive and things like that. And you know, small things that he says is always nice to hear. You know, it just makes you feel a little bit more comfy in that out there. And you know, it means a lot hearing things from you know from such a class act like like himself. And it means a lot. Yeah, but do you, he says you've got to get up to a, a thousand push-ups every day. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> you're not going to win as many majors. As he. <laughs> All right, Brandon. Butch, anything before we let you go? You want to say to Brandon? Butch James sitting nah. here with us in studio. How's it, Brandon? Um, yeah, I just want to say well done on all your achievements this year so far. And, uh, just wanted to find out if you're happy with your caddy. And if not, I'm available <laughs> from November. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah, Zaki's been good, but um, you know, you never know. Sometimes you lose a little bit of head out there, so you know, I might give you a call sooner or later. No, perfect. I'll, I'm going to get Darren to send you my number, so just keep it handy, yeah. Awesome stuff. Nice. All the best. Thanks. Hey, good luck. Hey, Brandon. Thanks, Louis. Until so, Louis, say thanks very much as well for hooking us up with you. Nice to catch up with you, and all the best for this weekend and uh, next week as well at Wentworth and for the uh, rest of the year. And as I say, congrats on all your achievements.